Hi, this is Psycho's LSD with Doll Hall 6. <laughs> and anyway, I have four dolls to show uh, for this one. Three are new, and one I got in a trade, which I am extremely happy about. And the first one uh, I'm going to show is Black and White Frankie. Let's see, she's got a glare on her now. Okay. Black and White Frankie. Now, when I first started liking Monster High dolls, is when she was in the store and I had thought about getting her but then I was like well I don't know if I got a monster hide all the first one I got I don't want to be like you know just all gray <laughs> but I really like her and I actually ordered her on eBay for $9.95 uh, free shipping and that's pretty cheap for a monster idol <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and get her because um, She's a uh, Skull Shores Frankie Stein, and if I got like the pack, the Skull Shores five pack, then she's not in there. Um, the colorized one is. And next, I have uh, Back to School Laguna Blue. I think this is a reissue, but I never saw these whenever. Not in my stores, anyway. <laughs> but my stores don't carry a lot of the stuff that everybody else can get. But, uh, anyway, Laguna Blue. And <laughs> her shoe was actually on the bottom. At first I thought, oh my gosh, the only one in the store, and she only has one shoe. But no, her <laughs> shoe fell out of the little booklet, and she has it. And I love Laguna. She, if she's not my favorite character, she's one of my favorites. And she comes with a little pink purse and a little notebook. And this one, I don't know, like, how happy I am about this because there is a paint. Like, there is a smudge of paint on this and um, I think it's because she has a flaw like this won't focus very good but she has a flaw in her lips and I'm thinking it's because they put her in the box with her lips not dry but because it won't scratch off and it's not on the outside of the box but I don't know <laughs> I'm just guessing at that one anyway this one is scary tale snow bite Draculaura and I went ahead and got her, even though, like, I wanted these, um, these are the ones that I really wanted to keep in the box, because they have really cool backgrounds, and most all the other dolls I'm getting, I just get one doll, I don't get, like, you know, I don't have enough money to buy, you know, multiples of dolls, like some people do, <laughs> so, um, I just get, like, one doll, you know, um, one of each doll that I can afford and then I I have those outside of the box but I really wanted to keep these in the box because they're really cool and you know they have their little story and their little display is really cute but I'm really unhappy about that mark that's on the box but she was the only one there and I have not seen her and I've been to the Target stores several times I think these are Target exclusive dolls the Scary Tales dolls but, um, anyway, but I've been several times, and this is the first time I saw her, and she was there alone, so, anyway, but, she's kind of got, like, straight hair for a Dracula doll. doll. And she comes with her little story. Once there is a kingdom where ghouls will render us fair, yet none could hold a candle to snow bite of the raven hair. In manner she was proper and graceful, in attitude generous and kind, that she was considered fairest never crossed her mind. For she shared a gothic cottage deep in a primeval wood, with seven friends who were zombies, and for the eight of them life was unlife was good. <laughs> unlife. <laughs> so she's got like zombie apples zombie apple purrs, zombie apple trees, 
Which I kind of think, well, if they were going with zombie, why didn't they have Gulia? <laughs> but, but I guess she looked more like a Snow White character. And finally, I have doo -doo -doo -doo, Dawn of the Dance Claudine. I got this in a trade from Cheyenne Perkins, and I'm so happy about it. The only thing that that it, that she didn't come with are those green tights. But other than that, she is just wonderful. I am so happy. She's got to be like one of my favorite like Monster High dolls of all time. I always thought she was really cool. And of course, I didn't collect Monster High dolls back then, so this is my first Dawn of the Dance doll. And all the Dawn of the Dance dolls are like pretty expensive now, so so she's probably like the easiest to get of them all and the other ones some of the the guy ones are like like over a hundred dollars ridiculous but anyway I'm really happy that I have her and I also got a lot of Bratz dolls and stuff too but you can look in the um, trade uh, package let's see package opening video from Cheyenne Perkins if you want to see my other dolls I got um, but since I had a whole video of opening that <laughs> and have all the Bratz dolls and Polly Pockets and things like that that I just left that um, in a separate video but I wanted to include her in my Monster High doll haul so anyway thanks guys and remember to like and subscribe <laughs> thanks bye bye